Hannah, and thank you everyone for joining. Um, I think it's going to be a great uh, session. I, I hope that we have you away slightly ahead of time, slightly early, and we've built in two um, moments for some Q&A as well. Of course, uh, we may not get to every question, in which case we'll follow up and do our best to answer all of those. So let's get started. Um, the agenda. I'm going to start talk a tiny bit about us and why we're here. Then I'm going to hand over to Cameron, who's going to talk about the challenges that those people are facing. Cameron is a DWP employer advisor and Kickstart district account manager. Then over to my colleague Kay to talk about um, how we've got off to a great start. Um, and uh, Kay is our senior delivery manager. And then over to Linda, who's going to talk about um, why Accenture has got involved in supporting the program. And Linda is social impact partnerships and engagement lead at Accenture. So a little bit about us and why we're here. I founded My Kind of Future in part through personal experience. I did come from a poor background. Uh, I went to what I now realize was a pretty rubbish school and came away with no exams to speak of. And in that, that month or year that followed, I had no idea uh, which direction to go, go in. I didn't really have any people who could give me advice and guidance and I was a bit lost. And that is with my huge advantage. I'm white, I had parents who absolutely did their best to support me. And I realized, um, reflecting back, that actually there are so many people um, from disadvantaged backgrounds, far more so than me, that just don't have that peer advice, um, don't have role models to support them. And that's why I founded My Kind of Future. We are a mission lock social enterprise, and we aim to support underrepresented people to prepare for work, to then get a job, get into work, and then to do well in work. So that's what we really focus hard on. And more recently, what that means is using our mentoring platform that we developed, we began developing four years ago. And I have to pinch myself now, we've got 13 full-time developers. And by the end of this year, plans show that we'll have 28 developers. So it, it really is uh, a terrific platform that leverages technology to cleverly match the right people with the right mentors, support them through the journey, and then demonstrate that impact through data. So the challenge ahead and why we are all on this call uh, and our shared ambition, I guess, is that COVID and the economy has not affected everyone equally. And one cohort that I care deeply about are young people who have been disproportionately affected, especially where jobs are concerned. Statistics show that one in three 18 to 24 year olds are either unemployed or furloughed. And young people in general are 125% more likely to become unemployed than they were this time last year. We all get statistics, we get bombarded with statistics, but, but just think about that, one in three, if you imagine a line, a queue of young people stretching out onto the horizon, it's kind of one, two, three, one, two, three. It's, it's almost unthinkable that level of impact and you like I have probably had personal experiences where we've met people and really that that lands and for me uh, in my job I guess that's that's a fairly regular occurrence but every now and again people stay with us and and one such is uh, I met a guy called Ryan 19 year old through a Tata work experience program TCS uh, we were running and I couldn't see any advantage that Ryan had. He, he came from you know, a difficult background without peer support, without role models, but he still wanted to do well. He had great ambition. He has great ambition. Um, he just doesn't have any kind of network or guidance to help him in the right direction or support through those series of steps that needs to help him get to you know, reach his potential. And that is what drives me. And I know it's what drives you equally. Um, our mentoring platform that I mentioned earlier does just that. 
you know, it allows Ryan to have several different mentors to support him just when he needs that support um, to be successful. And evidence has shown that great content combined with well-matched mentors reduces the dropout rate getting into work by on average a third. So a really big impact. And having that experience over the last four years with our mentoring platform, last year you know, was one of those moments where I wanted to lean in, everyone I spoke to wanted to lean in. And so I was determined that we launch um, our mentoring platform in job centers where unemployed people go to get support into work. And six weeks ago, so just a few weeks ago, really, that's exactly what we did. Unemployed people could get support from mentors initially in several um, job center locations, but hopefully many more soon. So just to talk you through that journey, what it looks like roughly, if you imagine yourself as Ryan, as that person going to a job center, asking for help from the work coach, from the JCP team, those Job Center Plus colleagues can now say to Ryan, actually jump onto the connector platform. And when he does that, he can enter details. What's, what, what jobs is he interested in? What skills has he got? What things would he like to learn about? And a bit about his personality. And then Ryan is matched with a series of mentors who between them can support that, that success in preparing for a job. The platform's always on. So if Ryan wakes up on a Monday morning and he's got a fear, or uh, wants a question answered, he can he can message one of his mentors and get that support. And if he goes to just about to go to bed on a Wednesday, maybe not to bed, if he's just about to have dinner on a Wednesday and he's got another another question or another concern, he can message someone then it's just available. And then once in a job, this light touch, kind of always available mentoring can continue to support Ryan, you know, for a year or even more, in fact, to do well in that job and stay in the job. And then because it's a platform, it captures all the data, content consumption, mentor engagement by region, by demographic, really powerful data. So before I hand over to Cameron after this slide, this is uh, I just wanted to kind of really have a call to action. Everyone is kind of leaning in and with great results, early great results, but there is so much more to do. We can expand much more widely in London, but beyond in cities, regions, communities right across the UK. And some good examples are KPMG have recently said that they will support our, our launches in Wolverhampton and Rochdale, Cisco hopefully in Blackpool. I think this week we had a law firm say that they'll support a launch in Manchester and an investment bank on the South Coast. So we're building that momentum, but of course we need more support from all of those stakeholders. There is a great ROI in my opinion. Of course, there's a social impact, but actually for employers when they're providing uh, their volunteers as mentors, on average, a mentor is signing up to an hour a month. That won't be in one block, it'll be in little snippets and bite-sized bits, easily manageable around a working week or a working month. Uh, supporting on things like, you know, what's it like, Ryan, this is what it's like to work in this industry, some interview advice, some CV advice. Um, and we, the platform provides your mentors, your employees with training, support, and a stat which sounds like fake news, but I've checked it so many times it's real that across all of our platforms over the last four years, mentors who volunteer in year one, 97% volunteer go on to volunteer in year two. So it's a good experience, it's a positive experience. I hope that you'll help us deliver social impact more broadly across the country into different regions. And let's face it, places like Blackpool are really in need of that support. And equally recognition, which is important for us as organizations. We've got great buy-in, um, from lots of stakeholders, but they include people like the Minister for Employment, Mims Davis, and senior leaders like Cameron and like others in the DWP and Job Centre Plus. So there is a lot to gain and nothing to lose, in my in my opinion. So um, I'd love you to be involved. And on that note, I'm going to hand over to Cameron. Cameron. Thank you, Will, and, and good afternoon, colleagues. Thank you so much for joining the webinar. Uh, and Will, I, th I think you've set out the landscape really well there. Um, what I'd like to do today, colleagues, is just set out really briefly 
why we chose my kind of future and why we chose to partner with them. Um, uh, but first and foremost, the enthusiasm, the passion, and the dedication from Will and his team struck me when we first started talking about this in August last year. And when Will came to us uh, to engage and to help, actually, we he, he mentioned that we, we, we trialed JCP Connect in a few job centers across London and Essex. And it's become pretty apparent pretty quickly the impact that this platform, the potential for this platform can have. And it's great that you've joined the webinar because the the mentoring is the mentoring element of the platform is key. The other the other reason, which was an easy option for us, uh, to be frank, is you know I'll, I'll let Linda is going to chat later from Accenture. Uh, Accenture are an existing partner of the DWP, a valued partner of DWP, and I'm not going to steal any of Linda's thunder, but. You know, they have an exceedingly good track record in supporting our JCP customers across a wide range uh, uh, of uh, customer bases. But in terms of why we chose my kind of future, their track record in, in working with major organizations, working with many of you colleagues on the call today, colleagues on the call today, perhaps have just joined just to see what it's all about. That's fantastic. Um, but what I can tell you, my kind of futures track record in inductions, in onboarding, in mentoring, uh, talent pathways, that was a key attraction when I first had a chat to, to Will. And his team have been extremely supportive and collaborative in terms of helping us get to where we are. Uh, and that's not, it's easy to say, but let me, to, to, to sort of, add some meat to the bones in terms of that collaboration. Uh, Kay, who's also going to speak a bit later from My Kind of Future, spent a long time uh, with, with my colleagues doing some focus groups, customer focus groups, building in My Kind of Future, JCP Connector into movement to work type opportunities. So we've done a lot of road testing, not just with customers, not just with colleagues. I've done a lot of road testing and testing and focus groups with some of our partners who, who also support our JCP customers. And I think it's, I think that's the right thing to do because a lot of our partners build relationships outside the JCP network with customers and the response to JCP Connector and the need for it is uh, really important. Um, Hannah, if I could ask you to go to the next slide, please. Thank you very much. Um, so in terms of plan for jobs, the department and the chancellor, we've, we've created plan for jobs and the challenges are vast. Some of our job centers caseloads have increased by 150%, sometimes more, unfortunately. And, and colleagues, as Will outlined earlier, the impact on our 16 to 24 age group uh, is disproportionate compared to the rest of the population groups. JCP Connector fits in so well with what we're trying to do for the younger age groups in terms of not just uh, while they're in work, but before, during, and after any intervention we refer customers to. What is a key element and something I'm particularly proud of in working with partnerships with My Kind of Future is we've managed to respond to the crisis. We're not there yet. We've got a lot of work to do yet. And, and that's why it's great to see so many on the call today because we need your help in terms of supporting this platform and, and passing on your knowledge to, to younger, younger customers that use the platform. Supported by industry, that is key. Uh, the, the employers and industry are vital to us trying to build back better in Britain in terms of our plan for jobs. We need insight from industry. We need insight from you colleagues that know your industries better than we do. We have the customer bases. We support them as best we can. Yes, we pay the benefits, but also we try and, we try and get younger people, particularly the last year, to overcome a whole myriad of barriers, whether it's mental health, domestic violence, homelessness, et cetera, et cetera. We are placed in a unique position and it's, and it's a responsibility a lot of us actually, actually uh, take really seriously and, and actually with partnerships like with My Kind of Future, we are seeing the results and, and that's, what's quite, that's what's quite reassuring and quite heartening is, and Kay will outline later the initial impact from the trial we've had in London and Essex. But what is heartening is, is to see a young person's confidence grow, the metaphorical arm around the, sh the shoulder in terms of the mentoring element of it. And that's something we need within the JCP network. A lot of our work coaches have not met our customers because we were all working remotely. Uh, today we're on Zoom. 
Uh, you know, some of our customers have never used collaborative software before. So what is really attractive in terms of JCP Connector is it's customer's choice. The customer can log on to the JCP Connector site and they can reach out to a mentor they like the look of. They can go onto the mentor's profile, explore the industry, and they connect. Uh, we know young people not always like to be told what to do in terms of directions, etc. I've got a, I've got a young son, and believe you me, I, I can, I can uh, sympathize with that sometimes. But in terms of customers, it's great that they've got a choice. They can connect with more than one mentor. So there are fantastic other partnerships as well that also do mentoring. But the differential with JCP Connector, the customer can choose and they can also benefit from Accenture skills to succeed. And I'll let Linda cover that later. But I think that's a key element and a, and a key USP of this particular platform. Not just you colleagues who are giving up your time in terms of uh, uh, the interventions on a weekly basis, or whether it's an hour, as Will mentioned, or whether it's a couple of hours a week, you decide with the customer and that's what we are finding is is best for our customer they can choose the mentor and they can choose how they interact with the mentor over the platform you know if the customer builds up a relationship with the mentor and then does it by phone or, or by zoom or ms teams or whatever way they feel that's fantastic another key reason i was i and colleagues were actually very keen on the platform is the variety now it's fantastic the hard work that will and his team have done to, to spread the gospel, as it were, of JCP Connector across the country. The, the scalability of this platform is what is needed for us as a JCP network and the Department of Work and Pensions. Now, we've got over 5.5 million customers claiming universal credit now. Uh, we'll outline some of the, the challenges in terms of the, the, the younger age group. We, ha we have hundreds of thousands of young people who's had two education years impacted. We've also got customers who've been furloughed, made redundant. Some of them have got four, five, six years experience already. A lot of them have never worked before, but some of them do have experience. So we're sitting in a situation where we need to try and encourage younger people to pivot or transfer their career into an industry that perhaps you can, can nurture them into. Now, when I say quality quick win, what I, what I mean by that on this slide is that our work coaches are extremely busy. They, they work hard to try and encourage customers to overcome barriers and, and to see the positives in themselves. I think that is what's key. A lot of young people have never worked before. We, our job, it's incumbent upon us to try and get them to see the positives in them, the potential. So a lot of you are HR professionals. You know your higher potential. How is this person going to fit into the culture? With the mentoring, that's going to allow a young person to get an idea of how they can actually, you know, whether they've volunteered at a church or a sports club or whether they've done no work experience or, or no volunteering. The fact that they want to work, they want to learn is an attribute that a mentor can actually instill in them. And certainly from a work coach perspective, we have a lot of customers in our job centers and our work coaches have a very short period of time. Now, when I say quick, when if a customer is referred, let's say, to a kickstart opportunity, aligned with that, they can be referred to JCP Connector and they can access before, during and after a placement. Hannah, could I have the next slide, please? Thank you. I mentioned kickstart. Kickstart is our flagship plan for jobs initiative to help the hundreds of thousands of young people impacted by COVID and the pandemic. The Chancellor announced it in July last year. The aspiration is we have 250,000 kickstart placements in place by the end of this year. JCP Connector aligns with that perfectly in terms of supporting the customer before, during, and after. And you as employee, employers as well, some of you may be engaging with kickstart. I know my kind of future team are engaging in kickstart. They walk in the talk and they've got kickstart placements as well. Now, JCB Connector could be used in that to help the young person during any, any sort of six-month placement and any action, in, any intervention to allow the employability support uh, while they're trying to do some work or, or perhaps free up some time from your line management to, to allow them to, to use the platform, get an industry insight or get an industry insight from a couple of industries because a lot of young people need to explore now they need to they need to understand what industries are available to them or as i said earlier they can pivot and transfer to future uh, future careers now the the value added benefit of jcp connector 
for us as a department in, in terms of employer and partnership engagement, it, we, we are offering kickstart placements, but it's also wonderful to be able to say to employers, you could use JCP Connector to access employability support for your kickstart candidate or employee. And you yourselves, your, employee, your, your own colleagues could, 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 could use it to upskill themselves in terms of supporting younger people. The, the on-site support I mentioned earlier from, from Kay and the delivery team has been excellent. They do webinars for customers in the job center around, case, around JCP Connector in terms of how to actually use the platform. And, and what, what is key to the platform is you, the mentors. If you're thinking about mentoring, it is so rewarding. It's an opportunity to give up an hour a week of your time or a couple of hours every, every month for you to help somebody move forward in their lives, improve their life prospects. And certainly it adds value to, to any intervention we offer within the JCP network. Customers are facing a whole host of different barriers at the moment. The pathway out of COVID is one of them. A lot of employers are still trying to adapt in terms of how many employees work at home, et cetera, et cetera. As a mentor, a lot of us are on the, on the I can pretty much guarantee at the moment, probably 80% of us are at home at the moment, potentially. A lot of young people have never had done any work before. So as a mentor, you can encourage them and allow them to understand how it is to work at home potentially. Um, but certainly the confidence and resilience building is a key element to, to why the department is, is very keen on this. And as Will said, our Minister of Employment for Employment, Mims Davis, has endorsed the platform, which is great. Uh, what we need now in terms of scalability to help customers across the country. And I think that is key in terms of across the country, you as an employer could mentor a, a young person and, and hopefully the aspiration is they're going to your talent pathway, potentially into your industry um, with a little bit of help, a little bit of mentoring, and obviously with Accenture skills, learning and support that Linda is going to cover. Thank you, Anna. So certainly, I think when we, when we as a department judge the impact and it's not just outcomes, job, jobs. Obviously, jobs is first prize. Getting people to get a job to improve their life, life prospects is certainly something that is something that's measurable, but it's ultimately what we would like to have from, from the JCP network. Not just to get customers off benefit, because we understand at the moment universal credit. We've got customers who are universal credit customers who are working. They, they may be working part-time. They may be working less hours for family or caring reasons. But certainly mentors... You do make a difference. Those mentors who've engaged through uh, JCP Connector already and other My Kind of Future mentoring offers, you do make a difference. You certainly build the confidence. And you as employers as well, if you're a senior HR colleague on the call, any younger HR professional, any department head within your organization that wants to give back to the community, but actually use it as potentially an upskilling opportunity to, to grow themselves and actually learn from the younger people as well. This is a two-way thing, mentoring. Sure, you can give your insight to the young person, but certainly you perhaps could learn a lot from, um, from young people as well. Uh, and, and certainly, uh, if you do engage with the platform, very much appreciate your help. And certainly from, to Will and the My Kind of Future team, what we've achieved in six weeks, I think is quite admirable. Uh, but certainly we, we, we need to try and look to grow it now across the country. And, and hopefully some of you will sign up today. And um, I really appreciate the opportunity to speak to you all. Will and, and the My Kind of Future team, I think, have, have done an excellent job. So thank you. Thanks, Cameron. That is a glowing endorsement. And I really appreciate you. You're a great partner, uh, as are your team. So thank you very much. Um, so I think at this stage, there is an opportunity to, for some q and uh, especially if you have any questions for, for Cameron or I. Otherwise, um, if there aren't many questions, there's another Q&A section um, very shortly. And so we can just uh, carry on. Um, Hannah, what would you like to do? We've had a couple. I think we've got time for a couple now, Will. Um, so a question that's been asked is, um, do our mentors receive training and how does that work? So. Yeah, uh, so there is training and uh, Kay, I might, I might pass this to you depending how, how successful I am in answering it. Uh, so the platform has mentor training and mentors have to complete that uh, training, which takes not too long, I think 20 or 30 minutes um, before they go live on the platform as um, mentors. And then we 
at My Kind of Future also uh, monitor the success and provide additional ongoing support if needed. The reality is um, it's rarely needed. Kay, have I covered that off successfully or not? Yes, you have. Thanks, Will. Thank you. Hannah. Perfect, thank you. And um, I think of another popular question is, are there any particular geographical regions that you're aiming to expand to next? That is the question. Thank you. <laughs> so we have to go national. We have to go to every corner of the UK. I'm determined that this year we will get there. And I know um, I sound like I'm just overexcited, but we really must. You know, we've started in London. We've made a great great successful start. Our stats are fantastic and Kay's going to talk about some of those shortly. But the opportunity and the need is everywhere, um, whether that is um, in locations that are relevant to employers where they have different sites, whether it is areas of deprivation, there is a need. And that could be geographical, it could be in a city, but there is a real need. Now, of course, we, we have to go to start with where we're able to, where those young people need that help. So those biggest communities are the most obvious places to go to, those biggest cities and regions. But actually, the reality is we need to be everywhere. And because it's a platform, as Cameron said, there are no real geographical boundaries for the platform. But what we have to do as My Kind of Future is support the job centre team as work coaches. Uh, and we don't want to do a bad job. We want to give them great support. And so every time we roll out into a new region, we want to make sure that we're, we're providing resources, training, weekly calls, um, all the support we can to make sure that it's, it's supporting their job and therefore the success of those people. And that is a very important factor. Well, if I can just add to that as well, I think uh, colleagues in the call, uh, that's a great question as well. What we are working with uh, the My Kind of Future team as well is uh, potentially uh, additional uh, mentor resources from, from a JCP perspective and on how to perhaps overcome some of the queries JCP customers may divulge to you as a mentor. Because we're conscious of the fact, as I mentioned earlier, that because of the remote nature of a lot of young people's claims with the, the Department of Working Pensions, they haven't really had an opportunity to build up a, a relationship with a work coach, but certainly that could take place and hopefully will take place with mentors. So uh, I am conscious of the fact that some mentors perhaps aren't, um, well, some mentors perhaps aren't in a, in a place to be able to overcome some of the life barriers some of our customers present and certainly not equipped to answer benefit inquiries. So uh, we are coming up with some additional resources with the My Kind of Future team that we will share with mentors should and when those type of inquiries arise. Thank you. Hannah, have we got time for one more question? Yeah, we've got time for one more. We do have a lot, but we will come back to any that we can't answer live. So are there any particular sectors that you are looking to get mentors from? Yeah, so our ambition is to support um, you know, every young person and therefore give them an opportunity from different industries because each young person has their own uh, ambition, their own passion, what drives them. Uh, and so a better representation across different sectors is really important. And I was talking yesterday to uh, eSports, which is you know, a very modern new industry where people compete in, in sports um, digitally. And so I think having broad sector representation is vital. Um, of course, as Cameron said, some industries are growing right now faster than others, and therefore there are opportunities or more opportunities for those young people in those growth sectors. So, so that is you know, a natural fit. But um, as the economy comes back to life, you know, other sectors will do so equally. And those service sectors that have been really suffering so much now actually provide great opportunities too. So I think it's jobs for the future but also broad industry representation. Perfect, thank you all. And I think, yeah, in the interest of time, we can come back to some questions after the next section. Thank you. So I'm now gonna hand over to Khadija. Perfect, thanks, Will. Um, if you could just go to the next slide. Thank you. So um, I'm gonna be covering our impact to date and the success of this platform would not be possible without Cameron and his team. And we've successfully for the pilot built relationships with seven job centers across London and Essex, which launched just over six weeks ago. Um, because of this initial success, 
um, and the kind of our need to want to support young people across the country. We were able to promote the opportunity by the Department on Work Pension social media channels for all of London and Essex job centres. And our hope is that by May we'll have expanded further to include Rochdale, Wolverhampton and Manchester. Users on the platform, as it's been already mentioned, have access to bite-sized career development content that supports their employment journey from starting out to succeeding in a role. Um, and as Linda will cover and Cameron has mentioned, that does also include topics from Accenture Skill to Succeed Academy. And we made a conscious decision to include this because that's content that the young people are familiar with. Um, and I've had a look at stats today and our current content completion rate on this connector is 92%, which is absolutely fantastic. It's a really high stat and it's showcasing that the young people are able to have conversations with their work coaches, then come onto the connector platform and access content that will support them with any interviews they have, and then continue those conversations with the mentors. Um, obviously, alongside the content, which is the biggest kind of hook to this platform, are our mentors, or as we call them on the platform, industry experts. And we currently have over 100 provided by our current employer partners who volunteered to assist our job seekers in supporting their journey from CV help to insight into industry. Now we're working with these, um, with our employers and these volunteers to be able to, it's light touch mentoring. I think that's the one thing I want to get across because I can appreciate that for a young person, but also for employers and your employees that the word mentoring kind of sometimes denotes a really long-term partnership, but actually for these young people, we want them to have the opportunity to reach out to multiple different industry experts, kind of build up their knowledge, build up their, their network virtually and have the opportunity to speak to more than one. And you know, I could speak to one about updating my CV and then go to another employer and ask about what it's like working in that industry or that company. Um, our connector, has a really clever, and I would have to normally defer to our product team for this, but a really clever kind of matching algorithm, which recommends the kind of top three or four mentors to every job seeker. And that's, a, again, a, we've created that to support reducing that nervousness of reaching out. It's that young person's responsibility to reach out to their mentor, but we want them to feel in control. And for this specific job center connector, our matching is focused on two personality traits, so openness to experience and conscientiousness, um, and also a dislike of the process of where you're applying to a job. And again, we've done research onto that, and we have data that shows that matching on a dislike can support that relationship building. And again, we're really focusing it on that young person's application and that career journey that they're going to be taking. And we're hoping that the mentors will support them right from the start all the way through that kind of pre-boarding, onboarding, and then success phase. And from the kind of six weeks that we've been launched, the quality of matches are proving to be successful. As you can see on the slide, we're seeing great feedback. You know, one of the greatest examples that we've had so far is that the mentor section is the best feature. And that's the section that we want to be the best feature. Every bit of content that we have or any other bit of information, it's really useful. It's career development, it's skill development, but it links to, now why don't you speak to one of our experts and, and see if they can support you. And we've seen conversations happening and I've heard from both work coaches and young people through the different events that we've been running that the mentors are providing CV reviews. So, you know, the young person has the opportunity through the platform um, to upload a CV and the mentor can kind of help. And we've taken that decision for conversations to again, take place on the platform. It, it supports the young person. You know, we don't know what their home background is like. They might not have the availability that some of us do and be able to have a laptop or, you know, a, a decent camera, but also it saves the time on the employer. It's very much to the kind of capacity that you have. And as Will and others have mentioned today, our ambition is to expand the connector to all 639 job centers across the UK to make that real difference to all of those 18 to 24 year olds that need it. Thank you. Thanks, Kay. That was terrific. Thank you very much. So um, there's some, some brilliant points you made there. Khadija, and I especially love the way you emphasise that it's a light touch mentoring relationship and, and that's really important. So with great pleasure, I'd like to introduce Linda uh, from Accenture. Linda. Thank you very much. 
Yes, hello, uh, my name is Linda. I work at Accenture um, in our corporate citizenship team. Um, I thought I'd just give you a little bit of, uh, I guess, background about um, my company and the work we do uh, around community investment and then sort of um, why in particular, I guess we've started working with My Kind of Future and, and sort of the successes so far that we've seen. So for those of you who don't know, um, Accenture is a global technology consultancy firm. Uh, we work across most countries in the world through our 500,000 staff. Um, and I thought what's relevant here is to say that core to our ethos um, across the company is what we call 360 degree value, which basically means that whilst we hold, of course, um, you know, uh, the opinions and, and value of um, fee paying customers of of our shareholders etc close to our hearts what we try and deliver is actually value to a much wider set of stakeholders than that so that includes of course the employees that um, work for us the environment uh, and and I think obviously relevant here is for the communities that we work in and that's because we know that through the sort of work that we do um, we have an effect on all of those um, and so uh, just to guess hone in a little bit more on our community investment work, which is um, a lot of the work that I do day to day uh, in managing partnerships like um, the one with My Kind of Future is um, to, the, and the focus of that um, is to support people into um, getting the, the skills they need to, um, to thrive, I guess, in the digital economy that we now live in. Um, and we call that Skills to Succeed. That's our program. And it was created back in 2008. Um, and that was in response to, of course, the, the global um, recession that we saw at the time um, as a result of the credit crunch. Um, and at that time, of course, young people were very much uh, uh, bearing the brunt of, of, of those e that economic crisis. Um, very unfairly so, um, and and out of a job. So we created um, our uh, Skills to Succeed program. And what we've tried to do over the last kind of decade and a, a few years more, 12 years, um, is to uh, support those young people, build in-demand skills. So that's skills that we know that, the, that employers need today and uh, are likely to need in the future and also focus on growth sectors. Um, so for example, we have programs supporting young people in technology roles, um, into healthcare roles with the growth of the NHS, et cetera. So um, that's the focus of our program. Um, of course, we try to walk the talk ourselves at Accenture. We uh, run a number of work experience programs um, supporting young people um, to, to grow skills. And, and a lot of those schemes are, are reserved specifically for young people from more disadvantaged backgrounds. We also run uh, roughly 70 uh, apprenticeship placements in a year across the country. Um, where we support young people who, uh, you know, want to take a different route to the university or, or college route and to build skills that way. Um, of course, what we thought was really encouraging um, that a lot of the, the work that we and of course that the government, the other employers, the charities and social enterprises put into youth unemployment uh, were paid off and, and of course um, in the, the decade that followed, we saw actually youth unemployment shrink. Um, and that was a real success story and really shows the power of what you can do when, when you work together across sectors. Um, and unfortunately, because of the pandemic, which obviously nobody force, uh, was able to foresee, we're, we're now back again to a place where young people are much, uh, you know, in, in bigger, much bigger numbers unemployed again. So. That's why we're here uh, and working with my kind of future. And I guess, um, you know, hoping that um, a number of you on the call today are, are willing to join, um, join us on that journey as well. Um, and that brings me on a little bit to, I guess, our work with my kind of future. Um, it was really, I mean, Accenture obviously uh, as a technology consultancy believes very much in the power of, of technology. So, um, partnering with my kind of future and, and the connector platform was, was always going to be a natural fit for us. Um, the fact also that um, we about six or, or seven or eight years ago launched, um, which Cameron has kind of alluded to, um, we launched uh, something called the Skills to Succeed Academy, uh, which is a, a set of online um, learning modules around uh, employability 
which has been available um, in all JCPs across the country for the last six, seven, eight years. Um, and so this was, a, you know, the My Kind of Future and Connector platform was a real uh, amazing way of complementing that because whilst the uh, Skills to Succeed Academy um, content is all digital and it's very interactive, we also know that the power of human, you know, human co connections and being able to talk to an actual mentor is hugely powerful. And so it's been really exciting for us to be able to actually complement the work we were already doing through the D DWP, through um, the connector platform, and really together with the sort of human angle and being able to use technology to, to bring scale, um, this is hugely exciting for us. So, so far, um, uh, and we're early days, as, as, as you know, We've engaged around 30 mentors um, so far. I was actually incredibly heartened by how easy it was for us to recruit those mentors. Um, as a business at the moment, we are basically sold out. Every single person is, is, is delivering something. And of course, alongside the pressures of you know, homeschooling and all of that, we thought it was gonna be quite difficult to get people to, to kind of sign up to yet another thing, but actually, Within just a couple of weeks, we got 30 people signing up incredibly sort of enthusiastically. And um, we're already hearing um, how incredibly easy people are finding it. You know, they're able to, to, to say and set in their preferences, you know, when they're available to do mentoring, when they're available for a young person to contact them and sort of set parameters and, and, and say when they can't as well, which is important. Um, they're, they've been engaging on a number of different kind of questions around CV writing, around um, how to prepare for interview and how to support young people just thinking about what kind of job they might want to do. Um, many of our mentors have been, um, and as, as Cameron again mentioned, we, you know, we, DWP is also one of our clients um, and uh, for for, for, for colleagues of ours who work on that DWP account, actually mentoring through Connector has been invaluable because they've been able to really, you know, gain insights um, into the young people's world who, of course, DWP are there um, to serve. Um, and so that's just been um, a real kind of um, added bonus for us um, uh, in allowing our staff to grow their um, understanding of the DWP's work as well. And, and um, I think if we move to the next slide, I think we have a, a quote actually from one of our mentors, um, which I want to, to kind of finish my, my sort of short presentation on, which is, um, so Toby Ward uh, is one of our mentors and he has already helped one young person find a job, which we thought was absolutely amazing. Uh, as I understand, it's in marketing. Um, and you see that what he said about being able to, to kind of help that young person and his experience, that it's, it's obviously very rewarding for him uh, and, you know, allowing him to, to, I guess, set himself a challenge that he's not quite normally um, used to. So it, it was a real learning journey for him as well. Um, but yeah, that's that's obviously incredibly uh, amazing to hear when when young people actually get a job. Um, so I wanted to finish on that note. We're, we're early days um, and we're incredibly kind of excited about what the future brings um, through this partnership. That is great, Linda. Thank you. And um, I can definitely say on behalf of myself and my team, you personally and also Accenture are incredible partners, uh, really, in every way I could imagine. So thank you. Thank you for that. And it is terrific to hear feedback because that's what brings it to life. When we hear feedback from your mentors or when Kay is talking to work coaches, where we get feedback where people are engaging it's being rewarding and people are getting jobs those outcomes that is really incredible and of course through the platform we're able to to have that that data so thank you um and i think um we have uh, another five or so minutes scheduled for some questions hannah um i don't know if we have any more questions but yeah, we have had a, a good few come in. So again, any that we can't get to during the live session today, we can follow up with you one-to-one -one afterwards. Um, so someone has asked, can um, people get involved in mentoring that are based outside of the UK? So we have many locations across Europe and Asia, and we're always looking for opportunities that can be provided across all of our employee groups. 
That is a brilliant question. And I mean, as a default answer, I'm going to say yes, but I would love to follow up um, with a conversation, but I don't see why, I don't see why not. I can't see any reason why not. So I think the answer is yes, but I'd love to just pick up with um, that, that person who asked that question. Thank you. Perfect. And is there a, a minimum number of mentors that an employer partnership can commit to? Yeah, I think usually we we, we ask for, um, I think, five K. Okay? I could be wrong there, um, but obviously we, we aim to support you. This isn't just a kind of there you go, off you go. So we aim to support each stakeholder. So work with you, employers, work with you, um, sometimes you know, local authorities or job centres and, and work coaches. So, so um, you know, doing it in ones is much harder, but I would say five upwards. And some of the employers we're, we're speaking with right now have you know, many multiples, um, sometimes even hundreds, in fact. Perfect, thank you, Will. Um, another person has asked, how do we sign up? And will you be looking for site champions? That is terrific. Thank you. Um, I, I, I really want to celebrate when we open new regions in new cities, in new towns, in new local authority. There's an opportunity for everyone to celebrate, whether that's the Minister of Employment, Mims Davis, whether it's us collectively as a group. So I really, every time we launch in those new, new regions, I want to really, you know, promote that. And, and it is an incredible achievement. So I, we are actively looking for organizations. If you're an employer who perhaps is based in London, but you have regional offices, then let's look at those and say, right, let's support those communities. Um, something that you're, you can be proud of, your employees in those regions can be proud of, delivering support just where it's needed. So yes, looking, looking for those champions. And Ham, what was the second part of that question? Sorry, it's disappeared from my screen. Sorry, we're getting so many different um, questions come up. Are we looking for site champions? We are, and the second part? How do we sign up? How do we sign up? Well, I would love to, uh, if you can email me, William at My Kind of Future, we can um, follow up the conversation. Uh, and I know that uh, you, you'll have my email address, but but if not, I think it's, it comes up later. So I would love to, to have a you know, 20 or 30 minute follow up call with uh, as many people as possible. Perfect, thank you. And I think we've got time for one more. We are getting a lot of questions in, but we will come back to you after the event. So would My Kind of Future be able to support in advertising internally to help encourage mentors to sign up? It's a great question. So I think, again, back to uh, the point I made, you know, we understand that to make this successful, which ultimately will help those young people, we've got to support every stakeholder. So we try and support every step of the way. So when we're partnering with an employer um, who is offering uh, offering mentors, then you know that comes out to the workforce. We've got lots of experience on what works and what doesn't. So at every step of the way, we're looking to to support and make successful. Uh, and so that's through the whole life cycle. We're trying to make sure that, that every base is covered. Well, can I just add to that, please? Um, so what we do for that kind of yeah. mental outreach support is obviously the comms that you've mentioned, but um, for some of our kind of current employer partners, we've also ran lunch and learn. So it's not that we'd expect them to sign up and then we just kind of let them go. We'll, we'll do a, an outreach period, give some time, talk them, walk them through the platform, give some background and context before they then go and create their account. And that kind of whole account creation process, I would guess that it takes I mean I've tried it so like 45 minutes so it's not that much time needed up front once they've registered their interest. Thanks Kay. Han we got uh, do you want to do another question or I think I've only got one more slide I'll leave it to you it would be uh, if we are inundated with questions and I can't see them then we can always follow up but um, I'm keen that we get away ahead of schedule uh, and everyone takes a little bit of time back so Hannah, what would you like to do? Another question Absolutely. or should I just press on? I, yeah, I think if we move on, that would be great. Okie dokie. So really, I think, again, I'm going to finish my call to action. What do we need uh, support with? As you've heard, um, every new region, every new job centre, it requires resource. Um, and that really does mean funding. You know, Kay and her team 
uh, a growing team now of three people. Every time we launch into a new region, we have to support those stakeholders. So that is a mixture of funding and also mentors. Um, there is a great ROI and I've put it on the screen um, uh, and we've talked about it, but I really think that this is a win-win for every single stakeholder, whether it's a local authority, borough council, employers, job centres, DWP, our nation, um, and those young people, those 18 to 24 year olds. I can't see a reason um, not to get involved. Uh, someone asked a question about a, a, a new area. Uh, there's lots of different motivations, I think, speaking to employers. One might be a physical footprint, uh, supporting the community they work in, their employees work in. Another might be a specific area of deprivation um, that has uh, resonates with that employer. And, and sometimes with Skanska, for instance, they're very much a project based organization. And, and when they have a big project, um, they're keen to support that region uh, and the impact that perhaps that project has on that community. So please do get in touch. Um, before I go, I just want to say a massive thank you to Linda and to Cameron. Uh, well done to Kay and thanks to Hannah for pulling this together. And most of all, thank you uh, for, for spending 50 minutes um, with us today. Please drop me a line. I'd love to follow up and hope to, to chat soon. Thank you. Thank you all.